minuscule penny engines and peculiar creations fulfilling obscure purposes. Here are 15 of the strangest engines ever designed. Number 15. Penny Engine Ever seen an engine so small it's about the size of a penny? Well, look no further because the Philcraft Penny Steam Engine is as small as it gets. Made by the English engineer and craftsman Phil Gravitt, this fully functional miniature steam engine replica uses a 1962 copper penny as its base. The flywheel, which creates kinetic energy as it turns, is also made using a regular penny. This miniature engine can run on steam or compressed air, and is one of the most unique engine designs in the world. Number 14. U-Gears Wooden Engines Usually metal and steel are the first words that come to mind when speaking about engines. As most powerful heat production systems are metal-based, it's rare to see engines made out of different materials. When it comes to wood engine, U-Gears offers a variety of self-assembly steam motors. These self-propelled wooden mechanical model kits can be assembled without glue and are inspired by real-life engines. Opened in 2014, these kits are made from sustainable sourced woods and have become a fun family activity for all ages to enjoy. Number 13. Lego Engines While most children and kids build mansions and toy aircrafts out of Legos, this company offers more than their usual assembly sets. This innovative company offers its customers a chance to build visually interesting engines with moving parts, pistons, and valves. One example of a build-it-yourself engine is known as the V8 engine. Made with less than 100 parts, this extremely fun and intricate toy can be enjoyed by not only kids and teens, but by adults as well. With eight working cylinders, pistons, and crankshafts, this V8 model can be a great starting point for future engineers. Number 12. Flame Dancer Also known as the V-Twin Flame Licker, the Flame Dancer is a handmade brass engine. Vacuum engines like this V-Twin model are used in vehicles and cars as a way to generate force and power. Using its pistons and cylindrical openings, this brass engine derives its great force from all the air pressure that's trapped within the vacuum. As valves and trap burning gas and air, they come in contact with the air-cooled part of the cylinder, which causes a sudden drop in pressure. Finally, the pistons are sucked in and able to expel the burnt gases trapped inside. Number 11. Cylinder Stirling Engine Stirling engines, also known as heat engines, are man-made devices that transform heat energy into mechanical work. Using closed-cycle regenerative heat engines and cyclic compression, these Stirling engines can generate electrical power and heat. First invented in 1816, this particular model has the potential to be more efficient than gasoline or diesel-based engines. And that's why the Stirling engines are used in a variety of applications. From large submarines and yachts to automobiles and vehicles, these powerful engines can be used to generate power, heat, and electricity within seconds. Number 10. Steam Machine Bike While most steam engines are used in factories, steamboats, cars, and even rockets, one man decided to use his skills and knowledge and create a steam machine bike. Lynn Gentry is known for his extremely interesting and unique bicycle designs. The Australian engineer has built everything from mono wheels to wooden bikes and motorcycles, and has been in the engineering world for decades. One particular design that caught massive attention was his amazing steampunk-inspired machine bike. Made with European beach timber, the steampunk-designed bicycle has a characteristic curved seating. Its three wheels allow for a relatively comfortable ride, while most of its weight is attached on its back end. When it comes to the driving force of the bicycle, Lin used a copper boiler for power generation, using water as its driving force. The steam engine controls the pump that allows water and gas to go through the pressure valve. The bicycle can hold up to 6 liters of water and has arm handles that control the steering. And while a little bit of manual paddling is needed in the beginning, this steam engine machine bike can be driven using the powerhouse of an engine built in the back. Lin was more than happy to demonstrate just how effortlessly his invention is run and how little force it needs to go ride down the street or the road. Number 9. Newcomen Atmospheric Engine When it comes to the history of the first steam engine, not a lot of aficionados know where the story begins. The first practical working steam engine was invented in 1712 by the craftsman Thomas Newcomen. As you can imagine, the steam engines have gone through thousands of updates and upgrades in the last three centuries. 
but Newcomen's contribution never goes unnoticed. During the Florette Festival Market in Litchfield in 2015, John Child built a working model of a Newcomen atmospheric engine and brought it along to showcase its magnificent beauty. This model was built from scrap using parts and metal that can be found in any ironmongery shop. When we look closely at this working engine, we can see how truly unique it is. Among the unusual items incorporated into the finished design are a copper teapot, a bicycle chain, brass door furniture, and baked bean tins. If you gave anyone else these random items to incorporate into a fully functioning engine, they would probably only end up with junk. And that's why John Child is considered to be a master at his skill. John described his operating engine as a bit of a balancing act. This model can be run continuously for several hours and costs less than $70 to make from beginning to end. The construction of the Newcomen atmospheric engine replica took around 150 hours and was spread over two years in the making. But looking at this extraordinary design and machinery, we can say that all the endless nights it took to finish this atmospheric engine was truly worth it. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Miniature Engines Miniature models of iconic and well-known and widely used engines have taken over the engineering world. With replicas ranging from beam and steam to solenoid engines, these miniature models showcase their power on a much smaller scale. Do-it-yourself and build-it-yourself kits of unique engine designs are now widely accessible for children of all ages and even adults who love to create and build things with their hands. Not only are these mini engine kits extremely fun and entertaining, but their comprehensive arrangements and compositions are great learning opportunities for future engineers. As the miniature version of real-life and full-functioning engines come in a much more compact size, their instructions and directions are often very clear and easy to follow. These models are usually made up of a few parts and components, and their step-by-step -step guides can be followed along by children as well. The necessary parts for the design can either be made of wood, metal, steel, or even copper for those solenoid engines. If you're interested in the world of engineering and want to experience building a construction for yourself, then starting with the miniature and mini-engine sets are the best way to go. Not only will you gain a substantial amount of knowledge in the field of engineering, but you'll have a really cool handmade creation to proudly look back on. Number 7. Watts Beam Steam Engine Model Invented by a renowned mechanical engineer James Watt, the Watt Beam Steam Engine was a driving force of the Industrial Revolution. Created in the late 1780s, this particular steam engine design is considered to be the oldest rotative engine in the world. This revolutionary engine was used to pump water out of mines or into canals, and was inspired by the Newcomen's invention. But unlike the first ever created steam engine, this Watt's design was different in two ways. With the help of his partner and peer, Matthew Bolton, the engineers teamed up with the unique design that could pump water in both directions. Not only was the Watts Beam Steam original by its rotative capabilities, but its double-acting motion allowed the piston to give power strokes in both directions of movement. A replica of the original design was displayed at the Canada Science and Technology Museum in 2012. Built by the famous manufacturing and transport company Severin Lamb, this wooden design was constructed from the drawings of the original engine. James Watts' drawings were donated to the Science Museum in London, and this replica model incorporated all the details that were provided by the blueprints. The original product displayed how the original engine would have operated like, and it showcased how important its rotative capabilities truly were. Number 6. Solenoid Engine Solenoids are one of the most widely used engines in the world. By definition, a solenoid is a coil of copper wire that acts as a magnet while carrying an electric current. These tightly packed coils allow the pistons that are attached to its ends to pass electricity using electromagnetism. It's a simplified version of a steam engine, but instead of using steam as energy and power, solenoids use its characteristic magnetism properties. Solenoid engines have a variety of applications, from automobiles and trucks to pinball machines and even door locks. Anything that uses electromagnets uses solenoids. Unlike most intricate and complex engines, solenoids can actually be made at home. This type of motor is nothing more than a bunch of copper wire wrapped around a tube, and its assemble-yourself steps can be quite easy to follow. What makes solenoid engines so desirable and practical is the fact that they produce zero atmospheric pollution. These engines can be used as an alternative to fossil fuels and are therefore very eco-friendly. Another fun fact about solenoid engines is how they can be made using a variety of materials and options. 
You can combine wood, metal, brass, and aluminum for the finished product, and it can be a great success any way you build it. Number 5. Magnet Motor Engines Another brilliant up-and-coming inventor is Oren Gertel. The US-based engineer has been designing, renovating constructions for years, and some of his finest works are even patented. The inventor usually works with magnetic components and parts as a way to generate free energy using a huge magnetic force. His extraordinary constructions and inventions can be applied to a variety of engine-powered vehicles and machines. One of his most known designs is the hand magnet motor. This particular work of art can not only be used as a portable mechanical battery, but can also be installed in boats and aircraft engines. Capable of running for several hours and even days, these magnetic forces don't need any gears or belts to produce and conduct power. Oren's inventions are the heart of a large engine-fueled system, and their use of magnets is why his engines are widely applicable. The inventor wants to build machines and engines that won't use any battery, and that will only be fueled by the sheer electrical force of powerful magnets. Number 4. Coke Can Stirling Engine Coke cans, amongst other pop and fizzy drinks, are usually enjoyed over meals or on hot summer days. And while there are only limited ways in which Coke and other tin cans can be used, one imaginative engineer decided to take his invention to another level. Instead of throwing away his useless Coke can, Drew decided to build a Stirling engine. But a fizzy drink's leftover can isn't the only unusual component of his overall design. This Stirling engine is run on a tea candle, while the crankshaft is made from a jump paper clip and is attached to a fishing line. As we've already mentioned, Stirling engines are mostly used in large vehicles, aircraft, and marine engines. So while we're not really sure what this Coke can Stirling engine can be applied to, it's truly unique in its design and creation. Drew decided to test his skills once again, and the inventor came up with yet another Coke can Stirling engine concept and design. This time, vegetable and tuna cans were added to his original idea. The diaphragm of the Stirling engine was made from a balloon, while the crankshaft and its connecting rods were made from copper wiring and paperclips. Unlike the previous Coke can Stirling engine, this updated version did not include a fishing line, and the connections of this overall invention were completed with just small paperclips. Number 3. Lego Cyclic Engines The mega-famous toy conglomerate Lego decided to expand their imaginations and designs, and in the early 1980s they decided to sell build-it-yourself engines. Ever since their first release, these toy engines have become more and more intriguing and intricate in both construction and overall design. These particular toys have made a name for themselves by being an interesting challenge to its customers. These replica and model engines allow children and teens to see what kind of engines are used in a variety of automobiles and cars. One specific model that is favored by LEGO's loyal fans is the 8858 Auto Engine. The blue, red, and yellow colored car is made out of 240 pieces and originally released in 1980. The 8858 design has reciprocal pistons, a fan, valves, and a V6 engine. Made with three-cylinder inline engines and square pistons, the 8858 auto engine is driven by a 40-tooth flywheel attached on its back end. And while the finished product looks extremely satisfying and enjoyable to look at, amateur engineers will find the 8858 model somewhat difficult to complete. With its numerous confusing parts like the spark plug wires, pistons, and valves, this LEGO engine model might look intimidating at first, but customer reviews promise a fun and enjoyable time. So, if you're thinking of pursuing engineering as a hobby, starting out with LEGO engine models may not be such a bad idea after all. Number 2. LEGO Pneumatic Engine LEGO has decided to treat its engineering aficionado customers once again, and the company began releasing unique pneumatic engines. These toy models use air pressure and hand pumps as a way to move all the built-in parts in a synchronized and orderly fashion. The first generation of pneumatic engine was released in 1984, and included one pneumatic cylinder and tube. As the years went by, the production of these pneumatic engines refined, and the more recent models have incredible complexity to them. Now, the modern toy models have multiple pump cylinders and are usually bigger in scale and overall design. As with other LEGO engineering replicas, these pneumatic models allow customers to learn and experiment with the principles of aerodynamics and pneumatics in a fun and interesting way. The LEGO pneumatic engines can range anywhere between complicated building designs to larger steampunk cars, tractors, and even spiral ball lifts. Among some of their best sellers is the V2 LEGO pneumatic engine and the renewed version of the SYS inline-3 engine. 
So if you're somewhat familiar with the original LEGO engine constructions and are confident in your building skills, we recommend trying out the pneumatic engine models. Number one, Ferrari Mini Motor V8 Engine. Ferrari automobiles are known to be one of the most luxurious and powerful cars in the world. First established in 1939, this Italian Dutch sports car manufacturer has gained worldwide recognition for its powerful motors and unique engines. Ferrari vehicles take around three months to build from scratch, and the engine assembly is the first step in the process. The hand-assembled engines need such intricate detailing and meticulous work that there are more than 30 building stations on site, meaning as it gets built, the engine moves from one employee to the other. One particular engine model that has an unshakable reputation among sports car lovers is the F-136, which is also known as the V8 engine. First put into production in 2001, the V8 motors have already won eight awards in the International Engine of the Year competitions, and the F-136 F8 model is considered to be the best performing engine in the world. The Ferrari V8 engine fueled supercars have 720 horsepower and are used in a variety of Ferrari car models. The mini motor V8 engine has nowhere near the same amount of horsepower, but its loud roar and fast buildup are the testament to how powerful these Italian sports car can be. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.